Hey guys, so I have two problems that this watch band just solved. My first problem, I have a tiny little wrist, and so most of the watch bands on the market do not fit me. I either need something that's adjustable or practically made for kids. <laughs> the second problem I have is that I'm constantly battling heat rash. I live in sunny South Florida, so it's really, really hot all the time, and I'm always sweating all the time. I needed something that wasn't gonna give me that heat rash, and this is one of only two bands, only this thing, and a stainless steel band are the only two that will keep me from getting heat rash. So this has been an absolute life saver. I'm gonna give you a really quick tour of the watch itself and then I'm gonna show you how to adjust these links. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too, okay? All right, so take a look at this. This kind of more or less looks like a traditional watch band. Each one of these links is connected by a little metal wire and that's where you're gonna be able to adjust it. It has a traditional clasp right here in the back. All you gotta do is slide this on, almost put it on backward, Slide it on, and just like a, a traditional watch clasp, all you gotta do is snap it shut, just like so. So easy, I can put it on by myself. But how do you adjust it? I'm about to show you, check this out. Okay, so first this does come with a few extra pieces, but do not be intimidated. Here's your adjustable tool. You notice it's got this little metal piece on the inside and a little bit of a twist action right here. You've also got some of these extra little links. This is actually what holds the links together. And I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. By the way, these little gold things, these are just replacements for the inside of this tool right here. All right, first you're gonna look for whichever side looks to be a little bit flatter on here, okay? Notice that link looks a little bit more round, that little metal piece, this looks a little bit more flat. So I'm actually gonna aim to push this part out. And the whole point of this is that you're pushing these little wire pins out of the watch essentially. So I'm gonna put these links in here or put the entire watch in there as it were. Line that up with the gold piece, just like this. And you might have to twist this out, by the way, to get that properly adjusted and get that proper fit in there. You do want to line that metal bit up with the actual metal pin. You also want to make sure that this over here is lined up. The other side of the pin is lined up with the exit so that when you start pushing, and you do that by just twisting this tool, it's going to slowly push the pin out. Do you see that? is slowly pushing the pin out. Then you can just simply remove it once you've kind of got it most of the way out. So I've got most of the way out here. So I'm going to loosen this back up again, take my links back out of the tool, and then I'm just going to pull it the rest of the way out. There we go. I finally got that little piece loose. And now we have all these loose links in here. And if you want to add links back in, you just do the entire process backwards, right? So if you want to add a link back in, you're going to grab two pieces. You're going to line them up. You're going to, again, look at the little metal pin. Make sure that you're pushing in the flatter side instead of the rounder side. Once you've got these nice and lined up, I like to get it started with my finger. Then I put it back on the tool. Actually, I didn't really need the tool. I was able just to kind of push that in the rest of the way using a hard surface. Yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, actually, I didn't even need the tool to push it back in. There you go, perfect. And that's how you put the links back together. And of course, you can just add those uh, and subtract those from your watch as you so please.